Okay, September 19th. I want to show how things are being burned so bad with UV radiation, okay? That this is this is what I'm concerned about. Look at these jalapenos right here. Can you see how purple they are on this side that's facing the sun? But look, look there. Green as can be. Any of the peppers that are facing the sun have purple on them. And yet, down in here is one. Get out of the sun here. Here's one that's hiding down in here, and it's perfectly green. Perfectly green. All over the whole thing. <coughs> Excuse me. But the direct sun is doing this. And it's, it's UV burns. They're purple. Look at that. Shoot. Okay, not like that. But that's, that's crazy. And we've lost so much of our garden. Look, there's some down in there. There's some down in there. And you can see the tops of them are purple, where they're getting the most sun. This isn't zooming in too well. But at any rate, I just wanted to say, what is it doing to us, people? What is it doing to people? I mean, look at these poor sunflowers. Look at that. They have burned to death. They shouldn't be looking like that at all. We've got all kinds of examples. Now over here, we have some bell peppers. We've already gone through a picking, but uh, we've got some bell peppers here. But even they, where they get the morning sun, are burning with the purple and they're not even close to ready so you know this is doing this stuff to us over here the watermelon we've already gone through a picking of watermelon but these look at the spots on those that is UV burns through the leaves yeah even the leaves and this is the stuff that has survived, okay? We have lost an enormous amount of stuff this year. Enormous amount. Now, the broccoli is doing pretty good. We're getting some seeds right now. But the broccoli doesn't seem to be doing too bad. In fact, it's produced quite well. It does have some burning on some of the leaves, but it hasn't affected it. So, and stuff like char is doing fine. There's certain things that have been absolutely decimated. Look at this row of tomatoes. Our tomatoes were decimated. I mean, the leaves just burned right up. What fruits were on them did go ahead and ripen, but to what end? I mean, what nutrition is in them when the plants died? So, just something to make note of. There's some more sunflowers down there. Look how sad and pathetic that is. Yeah? Things like, uh, things like the lemon balm. Doing great. Yeah. Even done their seeds and the whole bit. Now we can have a whole bunch more next year. Look at that. And this is just what was left after digging it all out. So, but the point is, some things are doing fine. In fact, my, my peppermint is also doing well. But this here is also under this tree. So it's not getting near as much sunlight. And not the intense sunlight. By the time the intense sunlight comes over, check out the sun. Look at that bad boy. By the time the intense sun comes over, it's just getting the tops of those. It still doesn't seem to be uh, affecting them the way it is some of the other kinds of leaves and plants. So this is really sad. The saddest garden we have ever, ever had. And I would take you around and show you more, but I'm horrified because of all the weeds. 
This year has just been really bad about a lot of things. Chiggers, insects, coming out here when it was, even when it was cool out, it was so intensely hot in the sun. The sun's rays were just so intense. I just couldn't take being out here. So everything got away this year, really bad. But that is just so sad. It, we haven't been short of water. We've had a hugely cloudy uh, August that was supposed to be the hottest time of the year. And it was, you know, we got 93 days in the entire time. And it never was super hot or dry and we had clouds and rain so things did not dry up they just burned up burned up so I ask you what is it doing to you when you're out in the Sun if you're not protecting yourself these little peppers are doing fine that they're not even they're not even sunburned with the with the UV blotches like some of this other stuff so I don't know I don't know why some things are so bad and others aren't what gets me is the weeds we I've even seen lots of weeds completely burned up weeds have been here forever and they're used to the Sun they shouldn't be burning up when they haven't even had lack of water or anything they should be thriving I haven't even had dandelion seeds. And I mean, we do have some dandelion greens, but they're burned up. So this is what's left of the green beans. I mean, look at that. That is UV burns, people. UV. This is getting on us and any outdoor animals. We're missing so many birds this year. I've lost count of how many birds we're missing. We have cardinals that live here year round and this year we don't even have cardinals. We don't have red-winged blackbirds or cowbirds or grackles. We're in trouble, friends. We're in trouble. So think about that and get what you can while you can, get prepared, get what food you can get stored, dried, freeze dried, whatever. Cans get pretty heavy trying to cart them around, don't they? So at any rate, that's all for now. Love and peace to all. May we do the best we can. We are humans becoming, help us to become.